Uh, oh, no, I just thought that you'd like to observe, too. This is, uh, this is one of the fun ones. David Calloway, blind since the age of eight. The corneal transplant works. He sees his wife and two kids for the first time in his life. I can't imagine. This is why we become doctors. It's nice to be reminded every once in a while. Why did he wait so long? It's a new technique, and it's expensive. Brought him in under a teaching grant. Ah, the doctors are here. How'd you know? Well, you're the only people that walk into a hospital room that quickly. What about the nurses? Nurses are not quick. They're steady. Nurses get paid by the hour. So how are you, Dr. Powell? Fine. Thanks. How'd you know it was me? Well, I don't know if I should say this or not, but uh, you smell good. <laughs> Luckily, though, not as good as the woman that's with you. Dr. Cooper, say hello to Mr. Calloway. Hello, Mr. Calloway. Dr. Cooper, uh, meet my wife, Connie, my daughter, Shelly, and my son, Andy, over there behind the video game. Andy. <laughs> you ready for the big day? I've been ready for years. I've just been waiting on medical technology in the healthcare industry. Dr. Tyner will be by to see you before surgery. An anesthesiologist will come up and give you something to make you sleepy for the ride down. Oh, maybe he can slip me some of those for after I get him home. Uh, David's informed me that he won't be sleeping anymore once he can see. <laughs> I've got a lot of catching up to do. Well, if you need anything, let us know. Best of luck. Thank Thanks. you. Nice meeting all of you. Hey, here's looking at you, kid. <laughs> okay, kids, are we ready to do this thing? Um, well, let me see. Oh, what's the matter, Mr. Calloway? Uh, can't make up your mind? No, I mean, let me see. Doctor, is there any chance that as he develops his sense of sight, that his sense of humor will improve as well? Not likely. I want you to take a look at the world, David. And tell me what you see. See everything that I need to see. You are a beautiful woman, Connie Calloway. How do you know? I've got eyes, haven't I? <laughs> and these, I would guess be my gorgeous children. Oh. Oh. Thank God you look like your mother. I don't know. Take a look for yourself. Well, I'm not eight years old anymore. Bummer. So, Dr. Powell, uh, which one of us is the good-looking one? It's you, Mr. Calloway. It's the smile. There's no question about it. Well, don't feel too bad. You have a lovely personality. Listen, you want to be alone with your family. I know this is pretty overwhelming stuff, and I don't want you to overdo it. Thank you. I could never say or do anything that... It's my pleasure. Every time I do it. actually looked better than you sounded, though. And that's Maggie when she's a puppy. Oh, she's so cute. Look at that. <laughs> Andy, Shell, say goodbye to your father. Ellie's down the stairs. And I told her you'd meet her when she pulls up. Love you. Bye. Bye, sweetie. You should be good. See you after school. Okay. And this time I mean it. can't get enough of them. Well, that'll wear off soon. Do you remember my uh, father's favorite song? Uh, Mac the Knife by Bobby Darren? Oh, yeah. Okay, his second favorite song. <laughs> no. The more I see you, the more I want. 
about you. Ooh. Now, when we get out of here, I uh, would really like to make love with the lights on. Actually, we usually do. <laughs> Sorry. We, uh, we need a couple more tests before you yeah, stroll through the park. Yeah, this time the tree's coming at you. Let's just take it slow. Hey, honey, it uh, just occurred to me, you know, we'll finally be able to move the furniture around. Oh. My God. Tell me what you're experiencing. And colors so vibrant that uh, everything seems to breathe in and out, uh, pulsing. You know, you were right, Doctor. Uh, suddenly I feel the urge to break out my old Grateful Dead aid tracks. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do you feel? Do you want to sit, walk a little bit? You tell me. Well, all my life I've heard people talk about the Space Needle. Whenever relatives would visit or I'd meet tourists, I'd always play the good host and... <laughs> and say, look, you got to see the Space Needle. I hear it's the best view in Seattle. Well, if you can see the Space Needle from anywhere on the hospital grounds, it's about time I saw it myself. I know just the spot. It's the circus troupe from Peas. Oh, no. Now! Sorry, lady. I was just trying to see if he was okay. David, David, just keep your eyes closed. We're gonna get you back inside. Everything's no, no, gonna no, be no, fine. No, 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 no. Inside? No, no, no way. No. You, you promised me the Space Needle and uh, neither sleet nor rain nor a pack of deranged court jesters is gonna keep me from seeing it. I heard. They told us we could go home. There's some things I'd like to do. See. While there's still time. The dog. Seven wonders of the world, stuff like that. We're going to have a party. We're going to invite everyone we've ever known. Honey, I don't want to see everyone we've ever known. We'll make a list. What do you want to do right now? Believe it or not, I want to go home and work in the garden. I want to mow the lawn. I want to see why it smells so good just after it's cut. I'm so sorry. Don't be. It's given me a chance to uh, catch up with my life. My family. My love. Let's go home. Can I drive? You don't have a license. I'll take you out behind the house in that field and you can drive it. again in 10 years. Mm -hmm. Make sure and keep the camera handy. For God's sakes, don't move the furniture, bro.